video is all about the Hydrate Spark Pro, which is the newest smart water bottle in Hydrate Spark's lineup. I've had this for a week or so now, and so far everything has overall been great. This smart water bottle is designed to help you keep track of your daily water intake or set goals for yourself. There's an app that goes with the water bottle which connects via Bluetooth and it even connects to Apple Watches, Garmin's, and Fitbit. By the way, my name is Relly. Nice to meet you if you're new around here. And if you are, I hope you consider subscribing. The bottle itself was called the Hydrate Spark Steel because it's made of stainless steel, but they changed the name to the Hydrate Spark Pro. I really don't know why, but that's what they did. As of the date of this video, there are multiple color options and three different sizes. The three sizes are 17 ounces, 21 ounces, which is what this bottle is, and 24 ounces. The 24 ounce bottle is made of Triton plastic. There are three parts that make up the entire bottle. You got the lid, the bottle, and the puck, which is also known as the sensor. The lid obviously goes on top and screws on, but there are two options when it comes to the lid. You got the chug lid, which is what this is, and the straw lid. Because the straw lid is already the way it is, the chug lid does have a lock feature just in case you need to lock your water bottle. The bottle itself is an isolated bottle. It supposedly keeps things cold for up to 24 hours. But I mean, if you're meeting your daily goal, if you're trying to meet your daily goal, then you shouldn't have to worry about things being cold for 24 hours, right? This bottle is meant for cold things, so putting hot things in here is not advised. The sensor, or the puck as they call it, is a rechargeable battery that screws into the bottom of the bottle. It's also what makes this water bottle a smart water bottle since it connects to the app on your phone. The sensor basically measures the weight of the water and that's how it can tell how much water you drink. Once you download the app, connect your bottle, and set up your account, you can get more details about your water intake. Right on the home page, you can see your daily progress, how many bottles you have left to drink to reach your goal, and your day streak. You can even manually add water if you need to. An example of that would be if you went to a restaurant and got a cup of water to drink. The history tab shows you every time that you took a sip and when it registered it. It shows that day and it even shows that full month. The social tab shows your progress compared to your friends that also have a hydrate bottle. If you're like me, I have no friends. No, I'm kidding, but none of them really have a hydrate bottle. The bottles tab is where you can add your water bottle, customize the color of the glow, set up how often you want glow reminders, and if you want to, snooze your glow notifications, which can be helpful if you're filming in a dark space or if you're in the middle of an important meeting. The last tab, which is the settings tab, is where you can fine tune your goal, connect other apps, the type of reminders you want, and when you want to snooze those reminders. Overall, I think the app is good and it doesn't take too long to automatically update after taking a sip. Every time you pick the bottle up and place it on a flat surface, the sensor checks the weight of the water inside. Like with most things, there are some pros and some cons. Now these are my personal opinion, but I think most people would agree with it. And I mean, if you don't agree, that's okay. We can still be friends. I mean, we cool, right? If you are like me, you leave things like your water bottle at the gym, at work, a friend's house, whatever, you just forget it sometimes. But luckily in the app, it'll show the last location your bottle synced with your phone. And because you're drinking water throughout the day, you know, like you're supposed to be, you should have no problem at all locating your water bottle. This also depends on the location settings on your device and what you allow the app to do. Another pro is that the sensor is rechargeable. Compared to previous versions, this is a big plus because you don't have to worry about buying batteries every three months or so, or it's not a unique battery. I think this sensor battery lasts maybe a week or two on a charge. If you just make it a habit to charge it once a week, maybe you should be fine. Another pro is that the glow is customizable. That way you're not stuck to one color. There are plenty of colors that you can choose from, and you can even add two colors using their glow studio that's built in the app. And my last pro is, the app is just easy to use. I mean, it's very straightforward. It's, I haven't had, ooh, <clears throat> aha. I haven't had any bugs with it yet. All right, let's get into the cons. The first one is that this bottle comes in at a price of 60 to $70, you know, depending on when you get it, sales, all that kind of stuff. Okay, my first thought was for a water bottle, are you serious? I mean, it's not exactly budget friendly and I know you're probably like, I'm just gonna stick with my little $10 water bottle that has little markers that you should be drinking this much by 8 a.m., 10 a.m., 12 p.m., 2 p.m., so on and so forth. If that's you, totally fine, I get it. I mean, I'm not just gonna drop 60 to $70 on a water bottle. I know I have it, but I got it as a gift, so blame the person that gave it to me. They do have a budget friendly option though, and that is the Hydrate Tap, which is $20 and uses NFC tags from phones to update your water intake. So you just have to tap your phone every time you want to update and connect. 
Next con is cleaning. This isn't really a con for me personally, but I know that there's some people that won't like the fact that they can't just throw the bottle in the dishwasher. The only part that is dishwasher safe is the lid. The sensor has to be cleaned with a damp cloth while the bottle has to be hand washed. I know I literally just said these are my opinions, so technically this would be a pro, but I just, like I said, I know there's some people that just prefer to just throw their water bottle in the dishwasher and go about their day. Another con is the battery, even though I literally just said it was great. Uh, while it's great that it's a rechargeable battery, the thing that sucks is that the charger is a specific cord, so if you lose it or damage it, then you gotta order one from their site, and if it's sold out, then that's tough. Another con is if you want those two glowing colors that I mentioned, then you need to pay $5 to get the Glow Studio. And I just think that it should be free, but that's just me. All right, I hope this video helped you learn more about the Hydrate Spark and all of its smart capabilities. When it comes down to it, this is just a smart water bottle to help you reach your daily goal of your water intake, whatever that may be. They do have a another version. I think it's about the same price. I'll have to double check. Um, and it's the Hydrate Spark three or legacy. There are a few pros and cons with that one. I think Joey Suggs does a excellent job of comparing the two on his channel. He owns both bottles. He's had experience with both bottles. You can see his opinion and then go from there if you're trying to decide between the two. Now, of course, there are other smart water bottles out there. This Hydrate Spark series isn't the only water bottle, smart water bottle that is, that's on the market. Um, there's other smart water bottles that have some kind of temperature control. There's one that has a built-in speaker. There's even one that has a power bank in the case you, in the event that you need an extra charge or something. Maybe I'll grab one of those one day and compare it with this one, but I think I'm good for now. Thanks for watching this video and let me know if you have any more questions about this and I hope you're having a great day. Don't forget to thumbs up bell. Bye.